Well, look what we have here. Someone brought their own bar to the gym, but they have a lock around it so nobody else can use it, but there's nothing stopping you from just lifting the entire bar and taking it with you. So and I found that pretty, uh, pretty rude to be honest. But anyway, what's going on guys? Welcome to the video. Uh, so this is my latest lower strength workout. And I thought that as I took you through this workout, I would just go over some of the common like questions and comments I've been getting on my last few workouts. And hopefully that'll uh, provide you guys with some value. Um, I'll answer something that you were wondering or maybe that you actually asked yourself. So on this particular workout, like I said, lower strength, we got four sets of squats, four sets of deadlifts. I'm doing 320 pounds on the squats. We'll get to the uh, deadlifts afterwards, which is 410 pounds. And this is the week where I'm doing four reps. I did three last week, next week will be five. And then depending on how that goes, I will bump up the weight five pounds. Or if I don't like the way it goes, I'll probably just leave the weight the same and go back to three reps and repeat the cycle. That might sound, oh, counterproductive, or you're not gonna get stronger. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm really in no rush to get stronger, honestly. Um, I'm kind of happy where I am. I don't really want to get hurt. At this point, I'm really more concerned with enjoying my workouts and staying healthy than I am trying to get my squat to go from 320 for five reps to 330 for five reps. I'm really, it's really just not that uh, big of a deal to me. As long as I can maintain my physique, uh, maintain my strength, and just enjoy the gym, that's really all I am going for right now. So on this lower strength day, I only do squats, deadlifts, leg press, calf raises, then I do abs, but it's only four exercises for my lower body. And one of the common things that I get asked is, you're only doing four exercises for your legs, how are your legs supposed to make progress like that? Well, remember that I don't consider this leg day, this is lower strength day. Tuesday, which is a couple days after this workout, is my volume leg day, where I keep everything 10 to 12 reps, I do a lot more sets, a lot more volume. And that is where I really consider my leg day. So when you combine both, you have the, the strength day here with lower volume, higher intensity. You have the higher volume on the leg day during the week. Combine it and that's sufficient uh, for your legs to grow. And although I am maintaining now, that is the method that I use to get to the point where I am now, where I am maintaining. So I don't want you guys to think that you should only be doing this if you're trying to maintain because this is the method that I use to get to where I am now. It's just the same method that I am currently using to also maintain. So it is sufficient volume. Just don't look at lower strength day as leg day. Look at it as lower strength day because that's all it is to it. And for the people that follow like a single body part split, the bro split, well, those kind of people only do the leg day. They don't even have the strength day. It's kind of combined to one workout. So you still have leg day. This is just lower strength day. That's enough about that. Another thing people ask me, how do I feel about push-pull legs? I think push-pull legs is a great split, assuming you're doing each one twice per week. If you're just doing push-pull legs once a week, well, then that's a single body part split, and I'm not a fan. But I'm assuming when you say push-pull legs, you're hitting everything at least twice per week. The reason I personally don't like push-pull legs is because you really need to hit every, you need to be in the gym six days per week. And at this stage in my fitness journey, my lifting career, I don't want to be in the gym six days per week. I'll just flat out say that. Also, given my goals of really just maintenance, it seems like a complete waste of time unless I really, really enjoyed it to be in the gym six days per week. So honestly, given my goals, a four-day upper-lower split is really the most I, I really desire to do at this point. And I even contemplated going down to a three-day routine. I just mentally... I just can't bring myself to doing that. I'm just worried about losing gains. But honestly, I'd much... At this point, I'd much rather go down to three days than go up to six. But if you're lifting maybe a couple years and you're considering an upper lower split, you're considering a push-pull leg split, I think push-pull legs is a great split. I think upper lower split is a good idea as well. You don't have to do a four-day upper lower split. You could break up the hypertrophy days a little bit more and do a five-day upper lower split. But as long as you're hitting everything at least twice per week, in my opinion, that is the right approach. So push-pull legs, good. Upper-lower split, good. Body parts split by itself, bad. Um, by the way, these uh, 40, the metal 45s at the end of this uh, bar, they each weigh like three pounds more. So even though it says 410, just want you guys to know it's really like 420. So I'm actually even stronger than it appears. Huh? Um, after, you see I go on to the leg press. Uh, I typically vary the reps on the, on the leg press somewhere between 6 and 10. Uh, just how I, however I feel today, I for this workout, happened to do 10, and then we, I superset this with the calf raises, um, I am a big, people ask about the supersets as well, 
Uh, I don't use supersets as like an intensity technique. I use them to save time. So after a leg press set, I'm just sitting around doing nothing. So calf raises, how hard are those? I just go and do calf raises, saves five minutes rather than doing them separately. So that's the entire workout. I do abs after this, but did not show it. Uh, stick around for the rest of the video. I showed a couple of meals that I ate after this uh, workout on the same day. Also talked a little bit about macros and nutrition in general. So if you're interested, stick around. Hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed the video so far. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next clip, which is egg day after leg day. All right, guys. So we're back from the gym. And as you see here, I'll show you again. It's three whole eggs. There's like 200 grams of egg whites, there's tomato, there's spinach, no cheese, and then there's five slices of this nature's harvest, 40 calorie bread. Um, and then afterwards I'm gonna have two of these confetti eggo waffles. I'm excited about those. So I do eat something similar to this after most of my workouts. It's very common, people want me to like tell them the magic foods or the magic post-workout meal. There's no magic foods. You can eat as healthy as you want. You could eat nothing but gluten-free, organic, grass-fed, all that stuff. But you know what? If you're not eating enough calories to be gaining weight, you're not going to be putting on muscle. And if you're trying to lose weight and you're eating all that food but you're eating above your maintenance calories, you're not going to lose weight. So health is definitely important, but your overall macronutrients and your overall calories are going to be the most determinative factor as to whether you gain or lose weight. So yeah, it's great if you want to eat all that organic stuff. I'm not going to stop you. I personally don't. I eat mostly healthy foods, but I do incorporate some stuff like this because I like to. Um, so yeah, eat healthy, but just be aware that you're not going to put on muscle. You're not going to lose fat if you're also not eating the right amounts of those foods. So something you guys don't know about YouTube or making videos is that as you're talking, the food gets cold. So I'm going to eat this. And I'm kind of feeling Chick-fil-A today. Today's Saturday. It's uh, like 11 degrees outside. I'm just looking forward to sitting on the couch watching some football, not going outside. But I am feeling Chick-fil-A, so I'm probably going to pick that up later today. And I'll see you guys then. Oh, hey guys. So yeah, I've just been sitting here all day, uh, basically waiting for this, this moment to film eating Chick-fil-A. Uh, not quite, but uh, I didn't do much today. I basically just finished watching the Chiefs and Titans game. That was a really good game. I actually really don't like football that much, but when it comes to like a single elimination game in any sport, even if I'm not a huge fan, it's still entertaining to watch. Whereas baseball, I'm a big fan. I can really watch any regular season game. Football, I, I can't. Basketball, I can't, which is weird because baseball is like the longest season and the most boring games. But for me, football, playoffs, basketball, playoffs, I can watch, but the regular season, not so much. Uh, before I show you the Chick-fil-A, I also am having this uh, salad for some extra nutrients and just some volume in general. And at Chick-fil-A, we got the regular Chick-fil-A sandwich and the grilled chicken sandwich and some of my favorite honey barbecue sauce. I made a comment in my earlier meal how the most important thing, whether you gain weight, lose weight, is your, um, your overall calories. It doesn't matter if you eat healthy. That's not me telling you not to eat healthy. You should still be eating healthy. And you might be seeing it like, oh, Chick-fil-A again? I don't eat Chick-fil-A all the time. The last time I ate Chick-fil-A was like three weeks ago, the last time I filmed it. So just because you see me eat Chick-fil-A in a lot of videos, doesn't mean I'm actually eating it every day. Like I said, I have this like once a week at most, and I haven't had this in three weeks. If I was having it more often, I wouldn't get the fried chicken all the time, but it's like, it's not that often. So I don't want you guys thinking that by, by me saying that eating healthy doesn't make you gain weight or lose weight. That's not me telling you not to eat healthy. That's just me telling you that besides eating healthy, you also need to be aware of your macronutrients. So let's do this. Do, do, do. All right, so first up, we got the grilled chicken sandwich, lettuce, tomato, put that delicious sauce on it. We'll take a bite. I don't know how they make their grilled chicken so juicy. I don't know about you guys, but when I make grilled chicken, it's never juicy. So I don't know if I was really just hungry, but that was the best Chick-fil-A grilled chicken sandwich I've ever had. And now next up is the my favorite, just the original chicken sandwich. Just fried chicken patty, has pickles on the bottom. I tried this sauce on it last time. It's honestly better without it. The grilled chicken's better with it. This one's better without it. 
So that's what I'll be doing. And as usual, it's delicious. The grilled chicken tastes way healthier, but this one's very good. All right, so I'm gonna finish this up. Still have the salad, I did not eat that yet. And then we're gonna finish up with some Halo Top. Before I get to it, leave a comment below with guessing which flavor I'm gonna have, and I'll give you a clue. It's not chocolate, it's not birthday cake, and it's not cookies and cream. So did you guys guess pumpkin? You know, after I told you guys to guess, I realized how lame of a guessing game that was. You're probably like, who really cares what flavor uh, Halo Top he has? By the way, that salad I had, all it is is romaine lettuce with um, ranch light dressing. I know some of you are going to ask. And uh, this pumpkin Halo Top is actually surprisingly one of my favorite flavors. It says seasonal, and it's January, so I have a feeling I probably couldn't even get it again after the one that I have in the freezer is gone. So I will enjoy it while it lasts because, uh, yeah, usually pumpkin stuff is gone by January. I didn't think I was going to enjoy it as much as I did. One of the better flavors. So anyway, that's enough for this video. I'm probably boring you. going to finish this up. Uh, relax tonight. The Falcons and the uh, Rams are on right now. It just started. going to watch that game. Uh, and that's it. So if you guys enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up. It does help me out. Uh, subscribe if you have not subscribed already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.